Could your cell phone be causing harm to your unborn baby? That is the very concern being raised by one environmental group launching a nationwide awareness campaign. CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez tells us whether pregnant women need to worry here. Dr. Max? That's right, Christine and Alice. Cell phones and other wireless devices have raised health concerns in the past. Some people believe they could cause brain tumors if you always hold the phone to your ear. And fetuses, of course, are especially vulnerable during development in the womb. Could cell phones be risky? Here's what you need to know. The founder of the Environmental Health Trust, Dr. Deborah Davis, wants expecting moms to know about the danger they may not know emanates from their cell phone. Right now, we are treating our children like experiments in a subject with no controls. Some animal studies have linked cell phone wireless radiation to neurological and behavioral problems in baby rats and mice. It's not enough evidence to prove cause and effect in humans, and that kind of study can't be done. It would be unethical if we were to say, let's take one group of pregnant women and expose them to cell phone radiation and the other group not. She says the danger goes beyond your phone to signals given out by tablets, Wi-Fi routers, cordless phones, even your wireless smart utility meter. So today, Dr. Davis, along with a group of health advocates, launched a nationwide campaign called the BabySafe Project. Our booklets and pamphlets, hundreds have gone out already and thousands more are on their way to birthing centers, yoga centers, holistic moms, chapters, and other associations and groups that serve pregnant women. They're urging expecting moms to take precautions like never holding a wireless device against your body, turning off your Wi-Fi router when it's not in use, using your cell phone on speaker or with a headset. Moving that phone away from your body even a little bit can have a fairly profound impact on radiation exposure. Proving wireless signals are harmful or safe is especially hard because all these devices emit radiation at different frequencies and energies, each of which can have very different biological effects. Plus, wireless radiation is so ubiquitous these days, it's virtually impossible to avoid exposure. So whether it's fear of birth defects, brain tumors from holding your phone to your head, or breast cancer from stashing your phone in your bra, a simple solution is to use headphones or earbuds and keep your phone away from vulnerable areas. Your purse is a good option. Alice? Okay, Dr. Max, thank you so much.